Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw Lizzie from the Rampage movie. Now, we're going to do the realistic one, not the cartoon one from the game. Now, I want to start right here, and I just want to make a little kind of like pointy oval shape for the eye. Then, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of travel right above the eye, and that's just going to go down and then up like this. Now, right down here, she's got this really big kind of like tooth, tusk looking thing kind of coming up. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up, and that's going to kind of curve over, and then it's just going to kind of come down like this. Then right here, I'm going to add a little curved line, and then I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up and then down like that, to kind of show where the top of the mouth is. Now, starting back here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down. I want it to be kind of bumpy because she's got a lot of texture and scales. It's going to go right to that tusk. Then it's going to come down like this. I want to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve up and then down for her nose. And then I'm just going to kind of make like a little bit of a wavy, kind of jagged line that I'm going to fill in with teeth. So I'm going to kind of draw that here, and then I'm just going to take this right to the tusk. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to kind of curve down, and I'm going to go down, and I'm just going to make a few kind of wavy lines that come down to here. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to kind of curve around, and it's just going to go up. I'm going to draw a line, it's going to go down, kind of up, and it's just going to curve around for her jaw. Then right here, I'm going to add another little line, it's going to kind of curve up and down for the other tooth on the other side. And then I want to fill in her mouth with lots of teeth. Now her teeth kind of go everywhere, so some of them are going to kind of go down, and they're all different sizes, they're kind of jagged and kind of going all over, really filled in. And then a lot of them are kind of like sticking out at an angle. So I'm going to kind of fill in some of these different areas here with some sharp teeth. And I'm going to put some kind of behind it as well. Then on this side first, I'm going to add some different size teeth going all over right to about there. And then I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of go across and then up here for the other side of her mouth. And actually, I'll make it a little bit higher. And then I'm just going to kind of add some different sharp teeth on this side as well. And we'll use this little mistake line that I made and just kind of turn that into the tongue. And then I'm going to draw a little curve line right down here, just kind of part of that skin there. Now, I'm going to make two little black dots at the top for her nose. Now, she's got this crazy kind of like, almost like fin pattern that kind of goes around her head. It kind of looks like the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. So I'm going to start by just kind of drawing a line that's going to curve to here, and then a line that's going to go down. And then I'm going to add just some kind of different little kind of pointy spike lines along here. So I'm going to add some of these just kind of around here, I'll put one here, then I'll put a couple down here as well, just kind of keeping them long and skinny. And then I'm just going to connect them with a little bit of like a wavy kind of curved line. Put one right there, maybe one over here too. Then I'm going to do another one out here, and I'm going to put these like in the middle of this curved line on all of these. So I'm just going to kind of put them around here. And then just kind of do the same thing, just connect them. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of curve up, and then it's going to kind of come down. And then I'm going to kind of bring her tail around here, because we don't have a whole lot of room back there. So I'm just going to kind of bring her tail around. Now, for her first foot, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out. And then I'm just going to go down like this. I'm going to kind of curve it down. You just want to make a line that's going to go down, and then it's going to kind of come back. Then I'm going to put another one right here. 
and then another small one right there. She's so got really weird feet. Then you're just going to curve up and then just kind of make that same angle pattern. Just kind of go up and then out and then up. Then I'm going to make kind of like a curved line right here for her stomach. And then this leg, I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw lines just going to go down to about here. And then before I draw anything else, I'm going to make the back leg, some or back part of the leg, so I'm just going to draw a line here. And then we probably won't see much of this foot, so I'm just going to take this line and I'm just going to kind of curve this right around to here. Then I'm going to draw a little line that kind of goes down at an angle. And then we might see a little bit under here, so I'm just going to draw a line that goes down and then over. And I'm going to curve up for a little claw, and then one right there. Then I'm just going to kind of add a little curved line on the tail here. Now over here we want our other foot, so I'm going to start right here and draw a line that goes down. And then I'm just going to kind of curve out and then come back to here. And then I'm just going to draw a little line right up here for the leg. Then for her other back leg, I'm going to start real close to here, so I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and then it's going to go over. Little line's going to curve down, come back, another little claw here. Then I'm just going to go up and then bring it to here. Now her tail, I'm going to fill up with all these kind of crazy little spike lines. She's got all these spikes going all over the place on her tail. It's almost like a big mace or a big club at the end. So I'm just going to put all these kind of crazy long spikes at the end. Okay, so we have our basic, basic shape of Lizzie. Now what we need to do is we want to add the details, and she does have a lot. So I will be going just a little bit faster through this part. You can always slow down if I move too fast during it. So let's start at the head. So you want to do the typical things, you know, some little lines kind of right around the eyes just to make it look really wrinkly. And then a couple little extra lines kind of around the top of the eye. I'm going to add a couple little few curved lines around here just to show some detail and some little like curve, wrinkly, scaly looking marks. I'm going to add a couple little extra broken lines kind of around here. She's going to have kind of like a lot of scales on here, so we don't want to add all of them because that'll take forever. So I'm just going to add some kind of round oval shapes just to kind of show some scale patterns. Make a couple little more extra lines around here. Kind of add some curved lines along the top here. Some little lines kind of around the nose and everything, just some little details. A little line up here to show where that tusk is kind of sitting in there. Going to add some quick little lines kind of right around here on these kind of like fins that she has. And I'll do the same thing up here. Not quite as many on this top one, just a few. She's got some really big kind of crazy spikes up here, so they get really tall. So I'm just going to add a couple small ones kind of right back here. And then she's got just some crazy, crazy tall ones. Some have like two spikes on them. So we're just going to add lots of these kind of going down. And then these are just going to kind of travel right down her tail. We'll start drawing some of these inside here. And then you can always add like a second row on here as well of just different little spikes, just kind of all different sizes on here. And just kind of put these all over. And you can always add like some smaller ones kind of in the background of some of these too. You don't have to put them in all of them, but just a few of them. Then I'm going to add some like different little spikes kind of going along the side here. She just got all these spikes and scales kind of going everywhere, so it's a little bit kind of chaotic. We're just going to add all these spikes and everything all over. So just kind of fill these all over the place. 
add just a couple little broken lines kind of around here and around the arms some little wrinkle lines just to kind of show where the skin is kind of bending and moving some over here on this leg here I'm gonna add some big kind of like spiky scale shapes going around here I'm just gonna kind of fill up this part of her body with them you can see I'm almost kind of doing them like a giraffe a uh, giraffe spot see I just kind of fill them in put them all over put some little ones around here too Let's kind of fill it in there these are gonna be just big scales now I'm gonna add some big claws on her feet with a couple little extra lines around each one just put them on all the little toes and stuff and then she's gonna have some more like spike shapes kind of coming around here very similar to like this part of her body here. Some are going to be sticking out. Some are just going to be kind of right on the legs. So we're going to do this on all of the legs here. Just kind of fill them up. All these different little kind of spike shapes. Put them on all the different sides. Then she's got them on this side too. Let's just kind of put all these big ones in. I might put a few more around here. Kind of make them geometric shapes and everything. Not just like plain circles or ovals. Just kind of fill them up. Kind of put them all around the legs. She's going to have some big ones on the feet too. And we're just going to kind of fill these all around here. Then I'm just going to put like some extra little lines kind of going all over the place. I'm going to kind of fill in this area with a few more like little spikes. She just has so many spikes and scales all over her body. Put some more going this way too be a lot of spikes and everything to color. I'm going to make kind of like a long broken line down here and then just kind of like some curved lines just to show some texture. Kind of like a Godzilla style tail. And then all these spikes on here, so I kind of drew all these spikes. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some lines around them and I'm going to make some of these look like they're in front and some of them look like they're behind. So what I'm going to do is I'll just take like a line and I'll draw two lines going down from it. Put a little curve and I'll add some more curves around here. Throw some more spikes in there. Just so it kind of looks like there are spikes coming from all different sides and angles on here. And there you go. There is your drawing of Lizzie from Rampage. She had a lot of details on her, a lot of different things to draw, but it was pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like these videos, make sure to keep hitting that subscribe button. We just reached 6,000 subscribers, so I hope we can get to seven. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.